<laughs> Every now and then you get it, don't you? You get a little whip. Here it comes, here it comes, look. No, no time to lose. In it comes. Okay, we are gonna go live in a sec, GP. Okay, let's just do a PTC GP. Stand by. Oh, my nap. Okay, you got me loud and clear, Jilly. Morning, folk. Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Uh, you're watching Big Jet TV. This is the midweek show, folks. Um, and we are right here at the Hilton Garden Inn. Um, now, if you're a regular to Big Jet TV, you will know that um, our great friends at the Hilton Garden Inn uh, give our members a uh, discount on their room rate here and uh, if you're looking to come and stay at London Heathrow then give these guys a look uh, and see if you can get yourselves into room 747 or any of these uh, these overlooking rooms on the seventh floor uh, that's not to say that on the other side basically all the way round uh, the top floor uh, and even down on the sixth floor uh, you can get great panoramic views um, but also if you're down at the side you can you can check them coming in past you if you're on the other side uh, you get to see the maintenance shed there with British Airways and you get to see them landing on 27 right um, 
but this side is really spectacular because obviously as you've just been seeing there you do get this wonderful view of the southern runway 09 right or 27 left uh, 27 is the operations that we're in today. Um, they have literally just switched runways. Uh, so we are now on arrivals. You've just seen the last few departures going out. Um, please, if you want, uh, if you want to find out about what we do here at Big Jet TV, we are a live stream aviation purely dedicated to aviation uh, literally running through our veins here at Big Jet TV we're live twice a week Wednesdays and Saturdays or Sundays um, and we'll come to that in a bit just to let you guys know that there is no show this Saturday because for our members all of our crew members we're gonna be in Milan on Sunday and on Monday that's uh, gearing up to be a fantastic show two days out there at Milan with our members and if you want to join us there you're more than welcome uh, some people just join up to come along for the ride uh, other people um, well to be honest with you most people join up uh, because uh, we give you literally everything we can in terms of aviation content here on Big Jet TV um, so looks like the first one in the lineup is uh, the little Irish uh, Aer Lingus A320 coming in from possibly Dublin. Uh, so uh, we're going to go straight on it. Guys, what we're going to do today is we're going to give you free viewers a little bit of an extended view today just because there's no show on Saturday for you free viewers. So the next free view will be next next Wednesday. Uh, I was just looking at that. I don't know if it is. I think it's probably... Oh, no, I think it is there, little Aer Lingus. Uh, is it? Or not? Anyway, welcome, folks. You're watching Big Jet TV. We're going to have some great stuff here today. Enjoy it. Let's go. No, it is. It is. It is. It is. Righty hole. Here we go. Right. Okay. So just a little tiddler. Kick the show off. Okay, one second. Here we go. Come to your comments in a minute, folks. Now, in case, of course, just be appreciative of the fact that the sun uh, is setting in the west there, and therefore we are going to get ourselves a bit of uh, silhouetted action as it as they go past us. Get myself uh, set up here. No, we're not doing the catwalk in Milan. <laughs> She's a model and you know what I mean. And she does a little dance on the catwalk. On the catwalk. A golf airs dreamliner. How about this? Look at that big long wing, man. Interestingly enough, only um the flapper on uh, control of the uh, directional movement. Left and right. Oh, that's that. Uh, is it the one that's sent me on it? No, it's Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, I think. Abu Dhabi D. So graceful, man. Yeah, she's down. Nice. So, uh, just to give you guys a, a little idea of where we're at. This is the uh, southern section of uh, London Heathrow. There is the uh, southern, there is the perimeter road that runs around the airport. Um, we're looking over there at Terminal 4. There's the private terminal as well over there. Nothing like LAX, of course. Uh, off there in the distance, that's the Amiri flight, the uh, 747-8, which um, we, um, that may be the one that was at, uh, at LAX, I'm not sure. Oh, look at this. Oh no, just Virgins. Well, I say just Virgins. So Virgin, interestingly enough, Flybe, uh taking up the reins, uh, sorry, Virgin taking up the reins. Oh no, it's not Avianca, isn't it? Sorry. Even so, Virgin taking up the reins of Flyby. Buying them out right, I think. It's got a 
got a little bit of a sort of like a slight crosswind. Let's just have a little look at the sock in a minute. So what's the uh, what's the wing as it literally falls back into its neutral position as it loses the lift? There it goes. Feathering the uh, elevators just to bring the front down nice and smoothly. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's kind of uh, more a, uh, yeah, it is more a headwind than it is a crosswind. That's, uh, that's straight at them. So they can literally float that thing down on the glide slope. So that's the, uh, that's one of the, um, it's a bit of a sad sight to see, isn't it? Looks like a boneyard special. Dreamliner with British Airways, one of the, uh, one of the many Dreamliners scattered around the airfield that's uh, obviously waiting for its uh, engines to be repaired. Uh, the obvious, uh, obviously the uh, Trek 1000 issues. There's another one with uh, Virgin Atlantic sitting over there with uh, the same thing. Quite a few of them. That one, obviously, uh, at the same time, having the Ray Dome replaced, which is quite interesting. Crazy. So that's three Dreamliners on the trot. This is Aero Mexico, I think. To where? To where, Jilly? Cartoon or blimey? Oh, is that a uh, is that an airfield? That's an airfield, is it? So that one coming out of uh, Terminal Four, folks. Wow. So what? To, because of the increase in capacity, they need an increase in capacity, is it? Wow. That's a big move though. That's a big move. Yes. Oh, is it? Here we go. What's the squeak? Danny Ogden, what's the squeak? Uh, okay. Well, we'll keep a check on that. Oh, that's, yeah, I've got it, I've got it. I think I might have got it, I don't know. Just see if that's cured it. Because it might have been rubbing up against the railing here. Leslie White, Armjad Khan, good afternoon. Uh, Debbie Oatley. Uh, Milo Murphy, Boeing 715 to London Heathrow. Uh, Anders Blomqvist, uh, Craig Blakeway, uh, good afternoon to everybody. Jay Lee is in the house from over there in, uh, I think he might be in Guangzhou, I'm not sure.
Jeff Anderson, yes indeed, lots of... Uh, Looking pretty old and tatty, these uh, these old CFM 56 powered 320s and 319s uh, with British Airways now. Obviously British Airways doing their best to update their fleet as quick as they can with the Neo variant. But obviously because there's so many of them, uh, that's going to be quite some time before they're able to um, completely replace all the aircraft. Well, 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 Sarah Pass is in the house. Will Amrick, uh, howdy, Atlanta, Georgia in the house, uh, skipping from work. Easy, son. Uh, Jean Bollet, Chris Gray, uh, Bonnie, Scotland. G'day, everybody. Welcome to Big Jet TV. Let's just bring up, uh, bring up our... David Bourbon, tuning from Norfolk. Jamai! Jay Lee in uh, Shang Chun tomorrow will attend Air Force show. Wow. GP um, going to need, I think, uh, think I'm going to need, no I'm not, ah oh, yes I am because what, what channel am I on here, yeah, can you, uh, am I in Big Jet TV at the moment, Finnair 321, uh, what's that? YouTube. Just stand by. We were looking at 20 mile an hour gusts. Wow, it's a bit of a late touchdown. Still got it on the burn strip, but uh, Double 380 going out. Uh, let me just uh, hold on a minute. No, that's just not uh, Phil Tovey, Daryl Clark, Ali Visa, John Hucklesby. So now this is interesting, you see. Uh, look at this, Lufthansa. With a, this is their CEO now. Not often see the CEO variant of the um, 320 with Lufthansa anymore. Normally, we're used to seeing the, uh, the Neo variant with the Pratt & Whitney PW engines. Uh, I think it's PW 1700Gs, perhaps. I'm uh, not 100% sure on that, but uh, quite rare that we see these uh, CEO current engine option um, Airbus 320s in with Lufthansa um, because I think, if I'm right in saying that the um, the engines, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the Pratt & Whitney powered Neo, engine, uh, Neo aircraft uh, have been grounded, as have the... Um, as have the A220s, I believe. 
Um, let me just see this. That's not. Um, which one am I on here? Galaxy's Edge was on the main channel, wasn't it? Chris Gurney, Lee Fullard, Megs, uh, Will, Americ, A Americ, saying that he's hearing us good on there. Well, that's good stuff, mate. Um, let's just go to live streaming on there. Uh, and events on there. New members, whole new list of new members. Here we go. I think we've got this. Uh, is that right? Am I... Here we go. I think this is it. I think I've got it. Okay, I've got heavy after this. That's good. Here we go. Michael Forrest, Shaker Maker, Mirko Mulback, Ifred, Daniel Cowling, Stephen Owens, and all the crew piling in there. So it's been some time since we were last up here. Thankfully, got great visibility. See all the way down this uh, this runway. 2.7 odd miles, I think. Long way down there. Amjad Khan, uh, referencing Birmingham. Nothing on the cards at the moment, uh, Amjad, but keep an eye out and we'll let you know. Uh, Rich Torb is in the house. Good day, Rich. Hope you're well, my friend. Gary Nutson. Um, now is I think Rich is he's not here anymore, is he? He's not he's not in the UK anymore. He's another dreamliner. This time uh, See those uh, horizontal stabilizers shaking with uh, shaking under braking, shaking under braking, um, as well as obviously uh, you know uh, just the uh, the just the sheer forces that go through the aircraft under braking, uh, and there's of course the engines being um, used for reverse action. So that's why we see those uh, such um, severe shaking going on. There's a whole lot of shit going on. Andy, Ian Finley, Stephen Owens, Michael Forrest, Adrian James. Um, yeah, Concord looking very clean. Yeah, uh, they do have a, a whole bunch of volunteers here at London Heathrow that look after Concord. Uh, she gets um, probably more love than, you know, your average commercial jetliner here at London Heathrow. Martin can. Oh, thank you, Martin. That's very interesting. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, could you email that to info at BigJet TV, please, Martin? I'd really appreciate that. Karen Langley watching at work. Christopher Bre uh, Brennan is watching. Good day to you. Uh, Alan Richard Yeldon. Um, 
Hey, um, guys, if you're new to Big Jet TV, please don't be shy, folks. Uh, make sure you come in and say hello to me. Um, if I miss your comment, then please uh, understand that I'm not ignoring anybody. Obviously, I just uh, sometimes miss people's comments. So please don't feel shy. Come in and say hello. Uh, always happy to see new members. Alex Martin is tuning in from Miami International at 10.23 a.m. Uh, there we go, Fernanda uh, Del Aquila. Um, Aquila, uh, right there is Concord um, Boab. Alpha Bravo, um, one of the, um, obviously, the oldest aircraft on the airfield. And... Um, to be honest with you, I don't know why. I really don't know why they didn't incorporate her in the design of Terminal 5, but there you go. Uh, Emma Seymour, uh, BA Landor. Yes, indeed, 747 inbound. Uh, where's she at at the moment? Do we know? Let's just get a little look at the... Um, let's just get a little look at the... Uh, uh, somebody tuning in from... Uh, yeah, there we go. Jay Lee tuning in from China. Usmat Shazed. Uh, please can you give my friend Shazed Nawaz a happy birthday. There we go. Shia. Uh, What's that, GP? Oh, wow. Ben Dyer started work at 4 a.m. so he could get back to watch. There's a dedicated viewer for you right there. Well done, Ben. Thank you and welcome to Big Jet TV. Uh, one of our regular viewers right there. So she's just crossing over Twickenham, around about Twickenham point, that uh, 320. Yeah. Ah. Oh, really? And, and is that... OK, so Garuda, who we don't often see you here at London Heathrow, it has to be said, um, but we're hearing Keith Cornell giving us that information that they're changing, they're switching it to the uh, A330-900, which is the new engine option variant of the aircraft. So that would be fantastic if they put that on the London route. Sorry, folks. Don't know when there is one officially, is there? Because, you know, there is no sort of like official start date per se, is there, you know? Uh, and, and, and there's all different, there's all different sort of like uh, times, you know, it's different sort of like, you know, eras. Yeah, is it? Okay. Okay, well, we'll just look at that. Uh, David Ventura, tuning in from Rotherham. Is the 380 a lot bigger than the 747? Also, can you tell looking live that is? Uh, good question, that, mate. I think there's there's def there's not very much in it, my friend. Uh, what is what is interesting is the 777-300. Uh, we're talking about a few feet in length, the differential between the A, uh, the 777-300 um, and uh, Boeing 747 and the 380, um, all very long aircraft. And of course, the A350-1000 now in that, um, in that arena as well. But uh, I think we're talking that it's, it, there's, there's not a great deal in it. I think the wingspan of the 380 you're gonna find is actually uh, is, uh, longer or bigger, should I say, or wider. Than the, uh, than the 747. Uh, look that up, Ben Co. Good afternoon, how are you doing? Megs to, uh, Thompson, Mohammed Jaffa, where is the Garuda? That's my flag carrier. Well, Mohammed, um, I, don't, I don't think she's in due in today. Is she due in today? Uh, perhaps, I don't know. Okay, well, that's interesting. Well, if... Uh, Of course, the A380 didn't need to be a stretched 
variant uh, of aircraft purely from the point of view that it has a double deck on it. Um, three out for the slinger, folks. Let's see if we can. I'm going to grab that. Let me just see if I can grab grab the slinger with gear down. There she is, folks. Here comes the gear. Oh, we've got a new member from South Africa. Yeah, baby. Is that Landor right there? Look, in the hold. She is there. Yeah. Here comes, um, here comes Bod. No, sorry. Um, so this is something that we're going to see uh, rebranded, folks, to Virgin. Um, is it Virgin Regional? Did you say Virgin? Virgin Connect. There we go. So this is going to be the Virgin Connect uh, aircraft soon, folks how quickly they're going to rebrand these things I don't know but uh, we'll just keep an eye on it but I'd imagine that all the uh, pilots and the um, and the crew and everybody involved in the airline will remain uh, will just be changing their uniform <laughs> For the slinger, here we go. See the auto power up, a little bit of smoke coming out of those uh, trents. There it is. Speed up. There it is. Jeff, uh, is it Jeff Anderson? 
is just off. Take care, Jeff. All the very best. Uh, TX uh, Jorge. Um, which flag is that? Is that which flag is that in uh, Jorge's? Um, Uh, yes, yeah, Mohammed Jaffar, uh, Jeff Hughes, Craig Hale, Ender Berg, good day uh, from Manchester, Adelson Oliveira, what a soft touch for the 380, yes, indeed. Um, they can literally float them down at the moment, they've got a direct headwind, so uh, not causing them any issues whatsoever. Debbie Oatley, good day, uh, Janet Lowe, Shaker Maker, Kaz M, uh, Carl the Astronomer, good day, Carl. Uh, Carl uh, got your email, mate. Uh, got your details. Uh, thank you very much for uh, sending us that information. And we'll certainly uh, plan to meet up with you when you're next over here. Um, up early Thursday, United 757, New York, New Jersey, livery in at Manchester. Kaz M telling us that. Wow. How about that? Uh, we got um, we got some, uh, some shots of that when we were out at LAX. Um, but not the best ones. Uh, Wayne Harrison, good day. Did you get my message? I sent website feedback from Vancouver. Uh, okay, we got that, Wayne. Uh, thank you, Mirko Mulbeck, British Airways land or livery. Eleven minutes. She should be making her way onto uh, the um, ILS quite soon. I would have thought, Andy. Oh, really? John Arnold, uh, Ian Shaker, Elaine Bird. Good evening to you. Yo-Yo uh, May, Keith Cornell. Remember, uh, if you're new to Big Jet TV, please come in and say hello. Uh, always welcome all of our new uh, channel members. Uh, we call you guys crew members, of course. Uh, Kev Johnson, tuning in from Glorious Salford, or Salford, sorry. Uh, Colin Loftus, um, thank you very much indeed. Um, Kelly uh, Idemudia, a good evening from Spain. Good day, Caleb Weatherdude and Ras Kennedy. Here is one of your um, leap. Carl Harrison, uh, new supporter right there on Facebook, new crew member to the uh, team. Good day to you, Carl. Fantastic. There you go. That's uh, that's what you get as a new supporter. Is that Carl saying that, Julie? Or is it Kyle? Is it Kyle or Carl? Okay. Let me just see. Oh, Carl. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Um, Caleb. We've got Sarah there. Ryan Castle. Ross Kennedy. Stephen O'Brien. Uh, Kenneth Brenner. Great show. Kenneth Brenner. Wasn't he an actor? Kenneth Branagh? Oh, Kenneth Branagh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, near enough. It's only one letter, isn't it? Uh, Daniel Cowling, Landor, back of the stack, followed by BA Dreamliner from Islamabad. Okay, let's grab that. Thank you, my friend, uh, right there. Carl Womble, good day. Steve Rennell, uh, Dibby, good afternoon. Daniel Cowling, what a great name. So, uh, 747, let's just have a look and see. just broken through the clouds even got some beautiful uh, cloud um, and there's that dreamliner behind it from Islamabad I always remember BA dreamliner from Islamabad because that's the one that did the go around isn't it I seem to remember is that right So he's got a light out. Get out. Still 
point some way out. Sorry, folks. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ah! Come on, let go. Oh no, there it is. There it is. There it is. Suddenly, come on. No, it's come on. Complicated illusion. Oh, wouldn't have thought so, though. Wouldn't have thought so, because it was. Um, Starboard, starboard. Uh, yeah. I don't know, I don't know, no, because look at the Dreamliner, you can see it's sort of like the same angle. Anyway, never mind. She's all in good working order. So we get a nice screaming set of RB211s coming past us. Yeah. Smooth. You greased it. To true Brit style. Stephen O'Brien. G'day everybody watching right now. Uh, wow. Lots of people watching across all the channels. G'day to everybody. Yvonne Healan. What was that? Uh, okay, Colin. Uh, Craig Hale, Connor MC. David Newark got A385 minutes away. Thank you very much, David. Caleb loving the sound on the uh, on the Queen. Oh, it's a triple. This is a triple. This what that wasn't a blimey. Oh, I saw this one yesterday with a. Engine they sell. That's a 300. Now that's what is as long as a 747, folks. We're on which channel? Thanks, Amjad. Let's see if we can grab him and call him out.
That's a bit crazy, isn't it? Missed a beautiful banking shot uh, in the, I think, big and hold. Something big. Looks like a 380 was just banking in the big and hold, man. How many? Uh, how many rotations has he done? How many? Oh, there he is. There he is. Ah, God, I keep missing him. Just keep missing him. Afternoon, Martin Smith, Debbie Speller, Judy Chaston, John Allen, nine weeks today. I'm on Qatar 380. Can't wait. Wow, lucky you, mate. Big foot 82. Uh, Sean Christie, uh, good afternoon to you. Key call now. Uh, Zolt, Sam Reed, Heath McKnight. Scott Salmi, Roger Martin tuning in from Mexico, uh, Colin Loftus, um, yes indeed Colin, uh, what, to be honest with you mate that is a big part of why I love doing what we're doing here, it's just bringing you this amazing engineering, you know, a feat of engineering it is absolutely incredible, especially the, you know, the, um, when you look back at, when you, when you actually look back at something like Concord, um, and see how, in some ways, how prehistoric she was, but in other ways, how futuristic she was. Um, when you go on board and look at the, um, the look at the, uh, the, the, the the instrumentation that she used to have, obviously, um, mainly all um, standard dials, uh, the engineers' panel as well, of course. Um, Moving fuel around was a big part of uh, Concorde's flight schedule on board the flight deck. At certain times, had to move. There's another. Was that a lofty? Sorry. Was that a Neo? That was a Neo. So uh, still running their Neos then. Okay. Uh, Mick Ashton, uh, Mad Mick from Stella Vegas, Manchester, new member. Keep up the good work. Mick Ashton, good afternoon to you. Thank you very much indeed. Welcome to the show. Uh, Sandy Humby, Emirates 380, just turning on to finals. Thanks, mate. In fact, there you go. I have a shot of her um, making her way across to... Um, let's just see if we can grab hold of that. Another lofty. Neville Palmer, good evening. Uh, was it a good morning? Sorry, Benny Vassett is in the house. Yeah, good morning, Neville. Yeah, is it? So that's interesting. Lufthansa are using one of their uh, their Neos. Um, whether that's uh, one of the aircraft that may have had the uh, the engines revised, I'm not sure. But obviously, um, I, I hear that apparently Air Baltic have um, fixed a roundabout. Or is it Air Baltic, or is it is it uh, Pratt and Whitney have have fixed up to 50 engines 
uh, 50 of those uh, PWs um, already. Manny Beard, Carl the Astronomer, Wayne Woolley. Whose birthday is it? Moira. Uh, Moira's birthday. Mark Duffy. Have you been to Airspace Museum outside Dallas? Uh, also, speaking of Dallas, have you ever been on their moving room on wheels? Mark Duffy, neither of those, my friend. Um, but uh, speaking to someone in Dallas, Fort Worth earlier today, um, if you're listening out there at DFW, I know we've got quite a few people out there, um, hopefully going to be getting ourselves out of DFW, got a big freight section there. Um, and that's what you're going to see on Monday as well, folks, out in Milan, um, going to be visiting their freight terminal. Nigel Gleaves, uh, Cleaves, my apology, Nigel, how are you doing? Cole Harris, uh, Nancy Dunn, Saucier, Luke Evans, tuning in from Spain, Ian Finlay, um, buying triple seven free. 300 is 242 feet long and 747 is 231 there we go so yeah yeah it's, it's incredible there you go a set triple seven 300 longer than the 747 of course um huge tail section on the 747 probably um a big part of that um uh, but the triple seven of course you've got that massive long uh wedge at the back which uh, uh houses the apu so there may be something towards that as well. Darren Edmonton, uh, Sean Christie, A350, 1,242 feet long. There we are. Uh, same as the 777300. So, Sean, thank you very much for that. So exactly the same length as a 777300. Of course, the um, A330 the other day when I was doing a little bit of research, interesting to see that the A330 was actually developed by Airbus as a, uh, a competitor for the 767 at the time. So, um, of course, since then, they've uh, redeveloped the 330 into, you know, giving it a stretched version, the 300. And, uh, of course, um, as they did with the 767, with the 400, of course. Um, but, uh, of course, now they have the re-engined, new engine option version, the 900, with uh, the um, A330. Judy Chaston went to Air and Space Museum Washington about 20 years ago. Couldn't spend all day. My friend had to track me out. Wow. So this is one of the um, last um, CEOs out the factory line, I think. Not literally this aircraft, but probably one of them with the um, new wings, new sharklets before they uh, switched over to the... Um, newer engine so what are we doing on freeview at the moment gp easy son wow okay we'll give them an hour give them an hour yeah okay folks pan left okay we'll do any second now we're just gonna get uh get this 380 she's in back here we go frame reaches its uh, terminal well you know I mean uh, don't need to uh, you don't need to extend its life with an engine upgrade you just uh, you can f theoretically extend its life I mean they've they've taken 
some of the old 747s and switch them into freighters, which is good to see. Wow, Craig Whitmore. I remember the I remember the days when aircraft used to be towed across the road from the hangars to the main airport at Heathrow. Was interesting to watch. Yes, indeed. Um, those were the days when the airport was probably lined by a picket fence, and um, you know you could uh, walk all over the place. Just your guy, Scott Salmi. Brenda, Scott and Brenda, there we go. Scotty, Pakistan in there. Sir. Hope you're well, guys. Saw Scott and Brenda's latest um, pick of little puppies that they uh, they adopted the other day or took in. And uh, going to be finding them some wonderful homes. Wow! With this, um, with this, Ben Co. Good day, Ben. We've seen Ben before. I'm sure I've seen Ben's name before. Yes, pretty sure. Uh, but thank you, Ben. Welcome. Uh, a lot of people piling in to join us in Milan on that Monday. Craig Whitmore, all fenced off now either and all, all round me old son. Uh, Karen King, <laughs> Lynn Carside, thank you very much Lynn. Jim Brown, uh, Samuel Bishop Prick, okay, uh, there we go. Jason uh, Ballantyne tuning in from, what's that? Sunday and Monday, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday at Milan, yes. Yeah, Sunday in Milan. Uh, Sunday, I'm meeting up with a, 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 a great a bunch of spotters out there. Oh, here comes the Jambo Jet, the Kenyan Express. Let's get a tight shot of that undercarriage. Here we go. Touchdown! Here we go. Yeah, it's very, very easy to sort. Well, I'd say easy. I mean, in in, in general, as as far as conditions go, you know, it's like having to, you know. A, a nice headwind to sort of like you know it's nothing too strong as well nice steady headwind to sort of like just bring the aircraft in and float it there's the old banger going out mind that uh katil in tuning in from uh norway uh budapest is gairu talus uh alex uh Jagoric, uh, yes, that is the DHL A310. Oh, look at this beautiful uh, Japan 777-300. This is a beauty, look at this. Oh, that's nice. Ben, just a shout out for uh, meeting me on Saturday. Great to meet all you great people up there at Manchester. Always such a warm welcome. Um, I have to say, uh, one of the uh, warmest welcomes that I ever receive up there when I go to Manchester, and of course, all the uh, locals at Birmingham as well, who uh, who come out to play as well. Uh, hello to everybody there, and thank you so much for all the coffees and all the drinks, cakes, tea, shot ices, peanuts. Uh, what's this, Craig Whitmore? East Church Road was the name of the road where aircraft used to be towed across the road. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Now, you know what? That road right there um, used to be, that road there that you're looking at through there, that one that's weaving its way past the, um, past those 
off of this roundabout down here, if you can see there, it, it basically weaves up through there. That road used to cut right the way through, um, right the way through the middle. Uh, used to be able to drive right the way over there. They used to have gates there from memory uh, up to about, I guess, 20 or so years ago. Darren O'Neill, Mally Beard, uh, Mirko Mulbeck, uh, A300. There she is, uh, or there she was, or where's she gone? There she is. Oh, for God's sake, give us a chance. <laughs> Flipping heck, Isabel Smith. I only just got back. Yeah, no, me not, uh, me on all my, uh, especially my head. Uh, Stephen Owens, a Russian budget airline is the fastest growing airline in Europe. Uh, Popida, based in Moscow, will grow by 34.3% this winter. Wow, that's crazy. Keith Cornell, Daniel Cowling, Ice and Air 757 inbound, 80 years aviation livery, 16 minutes out. Well, uh, that's only going to be for crew members, folks. Um, we, uh, like I said, we're going to be at, um, let's just grab a little bit of uh, PTC here, GP, uh, to give people uh, a little... Yeah. Try a Manchester tart, that's uh, Darren O'Neill saying. <laughs> a Manchester tart. Hey, listen, I don't go anywhere near that kind of stuff. Uh, only joking. But anyway, listen, um, yes, of course, this Saturday, no show on Saturday for free viewers, I'm afraid. Uh, it is all about our crew members um, and uh, we're going to be in Milan Malpensa uh, on Sunday and Monday uh, on Sunday we're meeting up with a great crowd out there uh, going to be heading out to uh, all the favorite plane spotting spots out there uh, they have a very extensive cargo hub there uh, much like they do in Frankfurt as well and uh, we're going to be doing a piece with their team out there much like we did at Frankfurt on Monday so if you're a crew member you will be able to join us live uh, airside from Milan's cargo city as well as uh, their favorite plane spotting locations um, so we will see you on Sunday and Monday, uh, Jilly, we're going to have to go quick because I've got a 777 inbound. Uh, free viewers, thank you so much for tuning in. Look after yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your week. Be good to the animals. Drink responsibly. And if you've got any fireworks, um, use them responsibly. Uh, hey, here we go. Uh, Bimman, 777. See you later, guys. Bye. Okay, GP, you're going to have to cut that. You've got that cut, haven't you? Oh, no. Uh, Martin Smith asking if it is, is, it, is it a paint or is it a giant? Yeah, depends, to be honest with you.